Hey guys, Felipe here with another haircut video for you. This one is yet another really, really good haircut. We are doing basically a classic comb over. We're gonna leave quite a bit of length on the sides and we're gonna comb over the hair. So I am going to take a little bit of a, a different technique on this haircut. Uh, this is a technique that I, I, I'm, I started to really enjoy doing on longer hairs like this and uh, it's much much easier for me so let's get right into it first of all sectioning the hair in a horseshoe shape here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do clipper over comb only on the sides so what I'm doing here is literally just setting a, a foundation, a, a shape on the sides. From that point on, I am going to use that guide and blend up. Now, the hair on the sides are going to be long. It'll have length enough for you to, you know, run your fingers through the hair. So I don't want to cut too short. Um, I want to leave length. So I take the clipper of a comb and I am literally just cutting the, the, the hairs right above the ear. The hair is falling over the ear. And so what I'm going to do is just cut that right above the ear. That shape will be set for the rest of my haircut. Now, I don't use the clipper of a comb on the back. Instead, I take the number three guard because I know I'm gonna tape up the back. I take my number three guard and I do the back. So I meet the number three guard with the clipper of a comb that I set on the sides. And there it is. That's my foundation right there. So the clipper of a comb on the sides, number three on the back. Shortly after that, take my Slimline Pros or any detailer that you have and I start setting the shape up along the, uh, the perimeters. Nothing crazy about that, it's very simple. And like I said before, we are doing a tape up on the, on the back. So uh, once I set the shape up along the sides, I begin my tape up. tape up is going to be set very very low uh, we don't want to bring that up too high we don't want uh, this is a very classic haircut so we don't want to make it look a little too urban and so I began my my tape up uh, it's pretty easy um, I just follow my guards uh, I set the foundation on the back with a three guard so all we have to do is blend from zero all the way up to three the only catch here is that you have to flake out the hair uh, quite a bit here otherwise you're just gonna keep setting lines and lines and lines and so you could use a clipper over comb in this case but I'm more precise using the guards and so with the half I jump to a one guard to a one and a half a two guard and finally I meet the number three guard So now that we set a foundation on the sides and back and the tape up and the shape up, we're gonna start moving forward with the haircut. Now I am using the scissor over comb to blend the number three that I set on the back up to about, just about the occipital bone. And then from that point on, I will use a uh, scissor over finger to meet everything. So it's just a matter of doing one thing at a time in any case that I have to to explain to somebody how to do a haircut it's just do one thing at a time try not to skip uh, until you feel really really comfortable skipping if you skip you have a really really high chance of getting lost in the haircut and so if you just take care of one thing at a time you will be fine so I am just blending this up up to about the occipital bone uh, on the sides As you see here, I'm starting to do the scissor over finger on the occipital bone's height, and I am just going to move from side to side. 
Now also remember, this is a very long haircut. This is not a skin fade or a tight haircut. And so you have a little bit more room to, to play and a little bit more room for error. You know, I like to not be caught up in the details too much in this type of haircut. Some parts might be slightly uneven than others, but it's okay because we're going to use the thinning shears to just mash everything together. Now here we are with the thinning shears. I should I say the texturizing shears is really helpful in this stage of the haircut. Um, a lot of UK barbers like to use the thinning shears in this kind of haircut to uh, to set that beautifully textured uh, haircut. So once you set the shape, just go ahead with your texturizing shears and run loose. All right. So now that we're done with the sides and back completely, uh, we're gonna start working on the top. We're gonna take that section that we set before and because the haircut is going to be styled towards the back I'm gonna take smaller sections maybe about half an inch to three quarters of an inch comb it back and use that that side that we just cut as a guideline technically what I'm doing here is I am cutting from back to front There it is guys that's pretty much the haircut um i did use the, the texturizing shears just a little bit on the top just to add a little bit of texture but for the most part this is the final product here like i said the hairs the, the haircut is on the longer side uh but it looks very 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 classy um i'm just applying a little bit of product here uh i'm sorry but i do not recall which product i use um probably something along the lines of uppercut easy hold or or uh, the matte pomade or something like that but in any case this is the haircut um i hope you guys enjoy this haircut i hope you guys can follow my instructions uh if you don't or feel confused or anything that i say please just drop a comment below i will try to re-explain and uh i'll see you on the next one and please please uh hit the subscribe button peace